new new warranty that might actually came out. So, so we'll talk about that, that just next. So in case you missed it, there is now a Tesla extended warranty that you can get for your Model 3, Model Y, and I believe Model S and X. But the question is, is it actually worth it? What are my thoughts? Is it even worth it to pay some of this? And the short answer is, Probably not, but we'll take a look at it. But if you're just joining me, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best thing on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And so let us get into this. Uh, shout out to Zach or Black Model 3. He posted this yesterday and I saw it. The extended warranty is now available for the Model 3 and Model Y. Available in the upgrade section of the app and covers two years, 25,000 miles. Of course, after your basic four year, 50,000 miles my warranty ends. And you can see right here for the Model 3 and the Model Y, it's a, it's a full $2,000. And so do I think it's worth it? Probably not. I mean, I would say from my experience, the Model 3 and the Model Y is pretty, pretty unproblematic. Like there really isn't too many issues. Now, I mean, the flip side is if you buy a Model 3 and the Model Y and you're running into a ton of issues, warranty and a lot going back to the service center a lot, then really then you could probably try and get them to buy that car back if there's a lot of issues at the end of the day. But pretty much for the most part, Model 3 and Model Y are pretty bulletproof, like really no issues at all. The difference is kind of with the Model S and the, the Model X. The Model X is, always has had some issues with like a lot of people complain about the Falcon doors and anything like that. But it looks like you can get the warranty for the Model S. It's a $3,100 option. And there's a lot of other things that can go into it. So like Model X is $3,500 option. So would I buy it? Maybe. And I'm not sure if it would actually be worth it because that's a lot of money at the end of the day, right? $3,500. I mean, it certainly could be a peace of mind type of thing. But uh, of course, it doesn't cover anything that's wear and tear. There also is, I believe, a $100 deductible at the end day on this. And so I'm not sure if this would be worth it. Maybe as you get closer to that four year mark or closer to that $50,000 mile mark, then you could certainly think about doing this. But I would say it might just be worth it to just sell the vehicle, get into another one and extend that warranty again. Of course, that's easier said than done. But I mean, once you hit the four year 50,000 mark on a Tesla, it certainly gets a pretty dated at, at the moment because it's Tesla is like very up tuned with the technology. And so it's kind of like buying like an old iPhone for the new one. So you're going to start to see and notice all the different aging of the technology and things like that. And now that you've probably been following and probably been seeing all the different Tesla news. There's hardware 4.0 or a hardware 4. And back then when hardware 3 came out, there was hardware 2.5 at the time. So Tesla's constantly, constantly trying to update and uh, enhance their technology, both interior and exterior. So definitely be something to be worried about. But is this worth it to me? I, I wouldn't say so at the moment. So definitely some pretty interesting stuff. We're going to go back into uh, the live stream comments. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description of the Patreon link, we can support the channel. And there's a variety of benefits so definitely check it out if you're interested. But if you're